Okay. Um, today I'm going to be making a solar hot water heater. And uh, just thought I'd kind of show you the materials that I'm going to be using. Uh, the the frame uh, the the box itself is going to be made out of this uh, these insulated panels. I got several of these. They've got a a metal skin on both sides and then foam. Um, these are used a lot of times for uh, roofs or uh, sunrooms, patio covers, things like that. Uh, I picked a bunch of these up for free. Uh, this was a sunroom that was demoed out. And I've got several of these panels. That's what I'm going to build the box out of. Uh, they're even though they're mostly foam because of the metal skin on each side, they're uh, very rigid and strong. So uh, strength-wise, the box should be fine. I'm going to uh, reinforce the bottom of the box with two by fours or two by sixes um, because that's really where the weight of the solar tank, uh, the solar hot water batch collector, actually will be, uh, so I'll reinforce the bottom to hold the weight of the 40 gallons of water. So that is going to be the box, that material. Over here I have an old door. Uh has a thermal pane glass. So I, I have several of these I've been collecting. You can pick these up for free all the time. Um, I got this one off of Craigslist. There's also a, a door and window shop in the city uh, that, you know, they replace old doors with new doors, and they just throw this stuff away. Uh, so if you have a, a local door and window shop, you can pick these up all the time from them. And I've started collecting several of these. I've got one, two, three, I've got five of these. This is the largest one I have as far as the glass it goes, so that's why I've chosen it for the batch collector. Uh, but I'm also going to use them to make the uh, solar hot air collectors uh, made out of the soda cans. Several videos on YouTube on how to make those. So I'm going to make some of those. Um, and so that's going to be the glass. Also, the older doors, I'm having a hard time getting this glass out. Um, but the newer ones, uh, say, that are, uh, you know, 15, 15 years or younger, uh, they're a lot, the glass is a lot easier to get out. Uh, because they have, rather than wood uh, strips nailed or stapled in and glued in place, they just have uh, kind of like plastic cleats that hold it in place. You unscrew the plastic cleats and the glass just comes right out. So, uh, anyway, having a hard time getting this glass out, but I'll get it out. And then uh, this is the tank. Uh, I've already. It was a hot water heater tank. I stripped the outside of it up, off, all the insulation, painted it black, and um, so that's what is going to hold the water. Probably put another coat of paint on it uh, before I before I install it. And uh, all this stuff has been free. I did go last night to the Home Depot and pick up a bunch of fittings and some other things that I'm going to need to put the box together. Uh, if I had had the patience, I probably could have collected all of that um, for free also, but I was just ready to get going on it. So I have spent some money all together. Uh, it's probably going to cost, you know, $70 or so to build this and plumb it to the house. Uh, picked up a, on Craigslist this morning I uh, called a lady that has a bunch of PV, one inch PVC pipe that I'm going to use to plumb it to the house so all I'll have to buy for that are just the fittings themselves so uh, with a little bit of patience and some looking 
you can get most of this stuff for free uh, to do these projects. Uh, if you've watched my other videos, uh, you'll know that I've, I've, most of the things I've built have been from salvaged parts. So, uh, just one more step uh, in our goal of self-sufficiency and uh, sustainability and you know, part of our way of thinking behind sustainability is uh, reusing things instead of buying things and if you're wanting to become self-sufficient and sustainable uh, one of the mindsets you have to get away from is uh, being a consumer and just going and buying everything you need every time you need something uh, should really try and get in the mindset of reusing things and repurposing things finding things that are getting thrown away by other people and uh, make new uses of it and that's part of sustainability and so anyway this is uh, the first video of this project I'm going to be putting this together today hopefully I can get it all together uh, at least to the point of being able to test it maybe not get it plumbed into the house yet but uh, get it set up so that I can start testing how hot I can get the water with this particular design. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but this is my drawing, uh, my plan for how I'm going to build it. Uh, I can't tell if you're going to be able to see that or not, but anyway, <clears throat> I'll make some more videos as I'm doing this and uh, let you know how it goes.